Yeah, what up? It's your boy Red here. I'm going to review Pompoco, another film by Studio Ghibli. Hell yeah. Directed by Isao Takahata. Well, and written by him too. So, what's this film about? Well, it's about fucking Tanukis kicking ass, transforming into things. Now, let me get started. So, basically, it takes place during uh, the 60s to the 1990s during Japan's... Uh, economic you know recovery uh construction uh expanding uh new housing across uh you know the surrounding tokyo and all that you know like shit that happens today when uh the uh, cities outside the main city grow that's basically what you do expand new housing for people to live in stuff like that this film focuses on that but in the eyes of uh the tanuki that live in the surrounding areas near tokyo um, and how they live, uh, the development is destroying their habitat, uh, they're losing food, um, stuff like that, right? And it follows them, and through this whole process of uh, figuring out what to do, you know, uh, do they fight back? Do they uh, decide to uh, eventually blend in with society? Uh, by that I mean they have some kind of illusion powers where they could transform into humans. Uh, foxes have done this, stuff like that. They explain all that in the movie. Um, and you know conflict arises shit goes down the tanuki fight back um some of them can transform others can't is, i guess it's just how it is uh other tanuki from all across uh japan come and try to help them fight back the places that aren't well developed yet um stuff like that happens so it's more like a ecological environmental kind of movie not really saying hey this is bad or this is good but this is what happens you know, you build something, you're eventually destroying something else. Um, that's what this film shows. Uh, the cute little tanuki. If you guys don't know what tanukis are, they're basically, uh, they're called Japanese something dogs. Uh, let, <laughs> let me look it up for you guys. I think it's called Japanese, um, Japanese something dogs. They're, they're like equivalent almost to our, uh, raccoons, I guess, but not really. The different species. But that's whatever's here and there. Um, of course, things happen. The Tanukis try to establish rules, like no mating this mating season. But of course, you got you know you got to get down, so they ignore that. Try to keep their population numbers down, and uh, different methods like that. Um, the film does very well in explaining the, these issues, and eventually what arises from these issues: violence, uh, understanding, death, um, guidance from uh, others eventually you know conflict and then acceptance and then uh you know moving on from whatever it was um the music was cute uh had great design uh, i love the little animations especially when they transformed they were cute as fuck um i mean i guess a kid could watch this film and be still entertained but the message is clear i uh, me personally don't really like much environmental films. Uh, some don't do a great job. This one does a pretty good job of explaining this. But uh, I'm not all into that whole deep ass message where it's clear as fuck. I kind of like a hidden message here and there. This wasn't really that because really, you know what's going on. Uh, you know what the Tanukis are fighting for. So I'm kind of like, I only watched this like once. I don't plan on watching it again. Uh, uh, in a critic view though, it's a great film. Great message shows you... Um, Japan's environmental thing, um, but this could be interpreted for any other country doing the same thing, expanding and growing. Eventually, you will take over other peoples, or in this case, Nukis, or whatever your wildlife is, uh, habitat, and destroying it. Um, it's a great film, though. Very didn't really feel like a Ghibli film. It was definitely something new. Um, it was still cute, really well drawn. You know, just my personal issues with it. Um, a little bit short, too. Definitely, you know, coming from the previous film. 
which was Isayo Takahata's work, which was uh, only yesterday. This one's a little bit less popular. I mean, I could probably skip this and not care about it. You know, that's kind of one of those films. But altogether, man, what would I give this? This is a little bit above average just because the message is strong. So I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10, y'all. It's a great film to watch uh, once, for me anyways. Uh, great film for kids, I guess, so they can learn about environmental issues and uh, helping out others. But overall, it was, it was just one of those films where it didn't really have a beginning or an end. It kind of just tra trails off, man. But hey, thanks for watching. Hit that like, hit that sub. I'll catch you all next time.